Hi, I'm Caroline from newhorizoncoaching.com.au and today I'm going to share two things you need to do when you're in a career rut. Now, I'm always amazed by those who just can do their job without really loving it. Now, don't get me wrong, I do understand that all jobs have a less pleasant side. But so many people even hate their job and hate what they do. They can just suck it up. And they have an amazing tolerance to accept the BS, the politics, the low pay, being on the valued and the purposelessness. Have you ever been in, in a meeting and where you thought like, what the hell am I doing here? In some cases, it goes on for years and years before enough is enough and people are willing to step out of it. And when it tips over, most people are at such a stage of such a disgust that they can't even bear to stay one more day in their job. It's at that time they realize and are often stunned by their own ability that they sustained that situation for this long. The reasons are varied. Some have been with the company for a long time and are hoping it will change back to the amazing workplace it once was. Others are financially entrapped and they don't see that they could or would have a similar pay somewhere else. Some have family commitments and responsibilities and don't want to take the risk to change. Whatever the reason is, it's always a good one, believe me. No one stays in a job they hate if they had an easy way out. Now, these situations are crippling. They actually touch your self-confidence and your overall energy levels. Now, in this video, I want to shine a light at the end of the tunnel. I want to give you hope and a starting point. Hope because you can change your situation. So in my career, I have met countless of people who were in a job they didn't love. In fact, they hated their job. The thing is, when you are in a situation like that, you have limited objective views. I've seen it over and over again. And you have been for so long in a certain situation and you don't see an immediate way out. Now, I'm here to say you always have a choice. And the first step is to accept and acknowledge this. Because if you don't accept and acknowledge this, that you are in control and that you have a choice, now you won't see any other uh, options and solutions. So you will close yourself off. So you want to move forward and take action. And this is what you need, basically. I know this is the hardest part, changing your mindset. If it was easy, you would probably already have done so. So the second part I want to give you is a starting point. Now, this could be anything as long as it encourages you to step forward and to take action. Now, getting clear on what you want can be overwhelming. Where do you start, right? And it doesn't matter where you start as long as you do. The worst thing you can do is stay in your cocoon because you're paralyzed and you're afraid and you're overwhelmed. So to support that, you need to have the right people around you. This could be friends or family or a coach like me that you inform of your plan. So now it's over to you. What are you going to do? What's your first step? I would love to hear from you. So if you are ready to take action and you want expert advice, schedule a time for us to talk. Now, I'm Caroline from newhorizoncoaching.com.au and I'm a career coach and self-marketing expert. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family who or whoever you think would benefit from this. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye.